This video was shot on different days. What I do out here on the homestead is not glamorous, but it needs to get done. Dennis was just out here picking up his eggs, and I was explaining something to him that I thought you might like to hear too. Mucking out the chicken run is one of the hardest jobs around here just because it's so heavy to move that material. Let me show you. I'm about halfway done in here. The muck just gets pretty thick. The chicken poop and me and the chickens walking around on it, it gets compacted. So not the most pleasant job, but I use this pitchfork. That thick top layer just needs to be peeled back and disposed of. Usually that means composting or throwing it out in that. Well, I'll show you where I throw it out. Anyway. <clears throat> so this half hasn't been taken care of. And then right about there is where you can see where I have turned it. The chickens appreciate it when I do this because they get to scratch around in the freshly turned material for little pieces of bugs or who knows what they like to eat, but they'll scratch through it. It keeps them, keeps them occupied. One thing I have learned out here is for heavy jobs, to just take my time with them. I don't want to push myself too hard and end up with more back problems like I had for a while. So, leaving a job half finished isn't too bad. Some of that material ends up down there where I'm slowly filling in the crater from that fallen tree. And some of it, some of it is being slid right down here to slowly fill in this gap. As I need to put material somewhere, this is a good place to go ahead and put it. There's some ferns down there that are gonna be buried and they probably won't make it if it gets too deep, but We'll see, you know, maybe the ferns will just kind of grow up around as the soil level rises. Actually, let's go down and take a closer look. If I don't have room in the compost bins, or if that muck just has a little too much, or if that muck just seems to have too many branches in it, then I'll throw it down here. You kind of see how it slides down the hill and is filling this depression here. Some of these ferns might not make it as they get buried in this stuff. I'm not too worried. I'm actually kind of curious to see how long they, they survive or if they just keep, keep growing up through the stuff. It's best to continually maintain things out here rather than procrastinate on certain shores. Cleaning the deck area is a good example. Wendy is the one who usually shovels off the deck, but she's been a little too busy with work lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of it for her today. She'll usually just shovel it right off the front edge of the deck and then I'll take care of it from there. You may remember from a recent video that we don't have any compost bin space right now. I can put it in the yard debris bin and I do, in fact, Tomorrow the bin will be picked up, so this is a good day to do it. But I've also been heaping it up over here. 
This material is almost all wasted hay and goat manure. There's not a lot of carbon in there to promote the composting process. When we do have more space in those compost bins, I'll probably layer this material with material higher in carbon. The does have pretty much just been eating the fresher hay that I slip in on top for them. This hay is getting a little bit old, so I'll take care of this today too.
Isn't that nicer? And we just missed a little bit of the heavy rain. Working with the active track for my drone was a little trickier than I thought. It kept losing track of me, probably because I was working around this structure to make things extra nice for our goats. We've also got some pine shavings for their stalls. Yes. Are you ready for your pine shavings? Are you ready for your pine shavings, Stormtrooper? What do you think? You like it? <laughs>